Number 20, find the values of certain functions of an angle in standard position with measure theta. If the point with the given coordinates lies on its terminal side, what are they saying? Here's all they're saying. I don't know if you use a pen. It's, all... it's saying we're going through the point 512 right here. And this is its terminal side. Here's its initial side. So basically all we're doing is we got a right triangle here and we have theta right here that's between the initial side and the terminal side. And we're trying to figure out what the sine of it is. Now remember, sine is simply opposite over hypotenuse. So we need to figure out the opposite side length, the hypotenuse length. Cosine is the adjacent over hypotenuse. So we need the adjacent and we need the hypotenuse. We need these measurements. So we need to figure out these three legs. Well, we already know two of them. We went over five, so that length is five. We went up 12, that length is 12. All we now need is the hypotenuse. So how do you find the hypotenuse of a right triangle? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So five squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. 25, 144 is 169. And that's a perfect 13. So 13. Now we have everything we want. Hypotenuse, remember, it's the opposite over hypotenuse. I think I said that wrong. Some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. That should help you. That's what I'm talking about. Sign, opposite over hypotenuse. So here's theta. Opposite is 12. Hypotenuse is 13. 12 13 That's all we want. Cosine, adjacent, 5 over hypotenuse, 13. Tangent, opposite, which is 12, over its adjacent side, 5. That's all they need. That's all we're looking for. It's really simple. Just notice you're using the Pythagorean theorem. The information right here gives you two of the legs. You use the Pythagorean theorem to get the third hypotenuse. And then all the answers are simple. Just using Sokotoa.